we've landed and are taking a $76 Uber to our hotel. We are so close to the Eataly. The Eataly almost did me in with Takeover Chicago. I was in there every day. Oh God. We're just walking around and shopping um, and wasting time until we can check into a hotel. We just ate at a little cafe. Look who's joined us. <laughs> Um, we've been debriefing um, on the show and taking turns proposing discussion questions <laughs> on Tyler. Like, like, wow, it, like, the video just dropped. like any normal person would. <laughs> World stop moment. Wow. We're on Mulberry Street. This is crazy. This is wild. We got the milk bar, um, and this cost ten dollars. Mmm, worth every penny. There's the Brooklyn Bridge. We're walking under it. Crazy. Wow. This is a really big moment for Anna. She went down to the front desk for us and got these toothpaste. She's usually too, <clears throat> too scared to do stuff like this, so it's a really big deal for her. We're proud of her. We're really proud of her. Good job. All right, we did have plans to go get bagels today and see Times Square, but we've gotten word that the UBS line might be about to start, and we need to get over there. So we're booking a $95 Uber and heading that way. <laughs> so confused but we're here and I don't even know if anyone's out here yet but whatever we'll see what happens back at the line some more people showed up um I'm going to pick up our Dunkin Donuts order because it's 2 p.m and we haven't eaten today because we just had to rush and get over here this is a life it really is I'm not mad about this some fresh country air out of that dirty city. <laughs> okay, their security uh, asked us to leave the property for liability reasons or whatever, which we kind of expected. So we are continuing to hand out wristbands, um, just like outside of the gate and talking to event staff on Monday about honoring our system and handing out their official wristbands in the order of our line. So, um, a change of plans. We will not be eating bagels in New York. We will be sitting on this sidewalk in Long Island. <laughs> Diet Coke o'clock. Pretty girl. Going to get dinner at a taco place and Eva's with us. Back to the line. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Just got dinner from the gas station. I'm going back to get in line. To get a yeah, to get in to get in line. <laughs> Passing the time. Look at this Aunt Cheese at party. Also did some click art. Another fun day of sitting out on that road being honked at. How many times was it? Oh, hold on. Right out there. There's a venue. A whopping 30 times. <laughs> Walking to the line today, um, about to go try to talk to venue people, hopefully. We couldn't talk to anyone from the arena. Tensions running high, hiding under a tunnel. Waiting for pilot security or the arena to answer DMs and emails. In the meantime, it's time for a New York bagel. Mm. Like a Wendy's baked potato. Yes. Go. Taste test. Wait. It's taking too long. 
um, preparing for camping at Target. Really excited. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I am excited to get out on the streets and camp. I'm gonna get a great night of sleep. Yeah, better than I smoked out in color. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much I updated earlier, but um, while we were getting bagels, Pilot Security messaged us back and said, basically, keep doing what we're doing. Even if the venue wristbands get messed up, he's still honoring camping and the campers will be at the front. So we're going out to their tunnel that we don't think it's their property, but we're going to their tunnel for the night and camping and we'll see what happens tomorrow. We didn't want it to come to this. But we're going to the tunnel. <laughs> yes, I don't care that you're a known bank. They'll get they'll get blooped out. <laughs> Ding dong. I hope someone tomorrow and let us get on property in our order. They give it a mouth and the phone them out, like until 6, 6 I know, you but also said that at 3 p.m. if we came in Right, if you come back here at 3 p.m. and it, the bike racks, but everything's if, all going to be set up for people to line up. I thought what if someone else comes at 1 p.m. and like we don't have a specific time. So, so if one person, if a couple of people get Tensions are running high in the tunnel. We're not sure what's going to happen. We could get run off for the night and um, have to keep doing a check-in system. We also don't know if the wristbands are handing out tomorrow, even numbered. So this is a real mess. We turned things around with Joel. We're friends now, so I can call him that. That's that security guard that was out there cussing us out. We're celebrating up in there. Yeah. Um, the wristbands are numbered, and he's given us permission to be back there at 11 a.m., which really means 10 a.m. tomorrow with our line. And he said he would send people our way if they're on property. We've also been called the presidents of the Toyo Ohio State Club. We have. It's a big honor bestowed upon us. So hopefully this all works, and what he said would happen does happen tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fine. This is the life. <laughs> I was on my tiptoes and you threw me off. Bent! <laughs> okay, hold on to my head or something if you need a rain. <laughs> tuck, tuck your legs. Yes, yes, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Get me off my <laughs> Scoping everything out before our line gets here. They've set up the barricades. We're about to probably go try to talk to them. It's 9.18. Um, the rest of our line gets here at 10. We can even try asking them. I think we're gonna be okay. Hopefully. Also, that comes off in like three days. You're literally just trying to get free money. Was. That security guy just came out and asked us, well, he told us we were allowed to be on their property because he didn't want the line that close to the road. I think it looks really bad for them to have 40 people lined up on the road. So he told us someone would come get our line and walk us over when they were ready for us. And it looks like the line is working. Look how many people we have. This is so exciting. It's 12.50, still waiting for um, venue security to come get us. If they haven't gone us by three, we're probably gonna walk over there because it's gonna start raining. And like we were told we could be over there at 11, then it was 12, and then another thing they said was three. So three should be safe enough time for us to go over there and they won't run us off, I hope. Um, Cause also we could sit somewhere covered and I don't feel like getting wet and then having to go to MSG. Okay, now someone at the venue is saying that we can't get there, we can't move up until 6 p.m. But they know our lines out here. And like when Allie and Haley first walked up, they thought, they didn't realize they were part of this line and said like there's a line out there go join the line so i think we're fine but um it's 2 16 it's really hot outside we haven't eaten anything today so me and Allie are walking like a mile and a half to a taco bell this is the line okay i was thinking about this i know now i have a lot of international viewers and just for the americans too some context of this venue is it's new um, Harry Styles has played here twice, but I, I don't know that anyone else in Portland ever has. It's, it's brand new. And also, it's like an hour outside of New York City. Um, and this show is not sold out. Everyone's going to Madison Square Garden, and I think this show is about 25% of the way sold out. A 21 Pilots ticket to see them at UBS Arena for less money than this country up Supreme Cross. There's, there's no squeeze seats for like $5 no, right they, now. They dropped it to $2. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. So that's also part of why we're having so many issues of um, 
where to camp and like the venue knowing what to do with us because it's new and in the middle of nowhere. And also everywhere around here, since this is new, we're like in a neighborhood. Like there, there's nowhere to camp. Yeah, we're just. Santa, but they weren't expecting people camping since this is not sold out. Yeah. Thank you. All right, it's 5:03. Me and Haley just sat up by the venue for a few minutes, and no one came out and told us to leave. And we're worried that people are about to start showing up to cut the line. So um, we're preparing to just go ahead and walk over. Yay, finally. Finally time to go. Yay. What's the line at? 59. No, 61. Wow. Okay, we had a line cutting. We had a line cutting situation, but they have gone to their place in line. We ran them all. We did it, Joel. I can't believe this worked. Look how organized we are. Yay. to our hotel to change it's 6 26 and then we have to catch a train at 6 40. it's 6 40 the train comes at 6 41 we barely made it and everyone's here <laughs> we're moving backwards i don't know if i can the cookie train yes here you are No, you're in Jamaica. He's in Jamaica. <laughs> Yo, look at that skyline. So you can't really see Sasha said hi. Sash? Wow, New York yeah. City. We've been so Be far alive. away. He says hi. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive, everyone. This is so exciting. Yay. <laughs> All right, I've gotten some pretzels and I'm in the Delta Sky Club. It's all very bizarre. Um, Peter did a great little job. It was so much fun. And pilots come on in about 20 minutes.
do this. I don't know why we were selected, but I want you to know that it means the world to us that you would come to this show. Even as I get older, I feel like when things were first starting to happen for us, I don't know if it was just my immaturity or what. I, I believed in it. I believed that this was gonna gonna work. And, it, and when it did work, I thought, yeah, I believed in it. But as the years have gone on, I realized it's one thing to try to make it to where you can go out and play shows and people show up once. But to do this for a decade, that's a whole other thing. Thank you for staying with us. This is a live. We unfortunately just had to go in there while we're waiting in line for Joe's and buy a two dollar uh, diet Dr Pepper. Times Square is up there. Philly pizza? That's not even. That's not even. Yes, it is. Walking to Times Square to eat our pizza. How cute. And pull my pin. Huge day for Haley Nation. Huge day. How cute. Hopefully they let us stay and sit under this covered area and eat our Duncan. Um, and don't run us off and make us sit in the sun. It's 2.20, we just went to the gas station, got Celsius, and they're gonna let us get a number order at three. It's kind of a mess. We did it, Joe! This is so dystopian. Trying to get some food to go. Um, since we're getting on a Greyhound immediately after the show. Dinner. Slash lunch. All right, so about 30 minutes ago, we're sitting just at the front of the line. And we saw uh, Mark and 21 Pilot Security over there. Okay, we saw Andrew Lucky. Andrew McLucky. <laughs> Come out of that door. Government name. Government name. <laughs> anyway, we saw him come out of that door, and I was like, hmm, that's weird. And then we peeked around the corner, and there was Josh, and we didn't say his name or anything. I didn't say peek around the corner. Okay, yeah, he was fully, he was fully standing right there. No, no dog in sight either. It wasn't like Jim was, they were taking Jim for a potty break. I don't know why they were outside. But anyway, Josh turned and looked at us. We didn't even scream his name or anything. We were just sitting here like three polite little girls. And um, he turned and waved and it was really sweet. So yeah. They were having issues scanning tickets.
men, women, and you guys are holding me up. They're gonna kill me back there. No, I'm kidding. They're so nice. I um, I'll sit down for a second. Thanks for inviting me. Um, I was telling MSG yesterday. I had a talk with Tyler in the food hall, if you will, and he gave me the most amount of the best advice in the shortest span of time I've ever encountered in my life. I swear to God, I was there for five minutes and he told me an entire college seminar class of just advice. Drown in shows what you have done It shows where your mind is gone And you swear to your parents That it will never happen again I know, I know my oh, oh, what that Oh, oh, oh. Did it? 
We're all impressed by this day, we just flip it, but these are just trippers Listen, three minutes, three words to a line, it's just poetry divide I'm the kind of guy who takes every moment, knows he can fight it And use it to use it for others to use it Good yeah, cause how could you sleep? Life is up here, but you comment below And your comments will always become common motivation To promote your next of it's old, so your brain doesn't keep going even no hope It's not fully formal for you and I know it gets better when more than five degrees are dead Together we we'll lose us, remember the future Remember the morning is when that is dead This show is too, it's too close to the garden show, it might not be that great. Said it's close in proximity, geographically, this is a brand new arena. You know, don't expect too much. I'll tell you what. This is already turning out to be a better show than we did last night. Till you finally realize Everybody relies on synthetic high They find someone to prescribe Keep the pace, there's nothing wrong with this We just wanna feel it all Eat your pills, save your breath And don't ever forget Do you know it? Get out of my way We're moving sideways Welcome to Mulberry Street Yeah Good to see Mall Street. I'm a dad. On the bed and I'm on the edge. I'll listen for a song in the distance. Ready? One, two, three, right side. Mulberry Street. Your life. So good to see You guys doing alright out there? You just still doing alright, yeah? Um... Actually, the, the, there's an issue. Whoops. For this next part here, at our campfire, I, I need my ukulele, but I left it out there in the middle of the arena. So, if you could, uh... Surf it to me. We could get on with the show. Yeah, just use the air mattress. Please be gentle. Please be gentle. She's young. 
Don't scare her. She gets motion sickness. So wall, I'll shred them all and go with you where choice is it. You must have fit. I'll grab my bag and go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Do you know it? Stay with me. Comes a day, people pulls it up at the end of your driveway. They call it for your head and they call it for your name. Bomb down under my gun. Lose my sense of time or two. Weeks feel like days, medicate in the afternoon. I just want to know if you lost your footing too. It's pray that I'm not losing you. Catch me floating circles in my fishbowl. I love this show. I really do. This one means a lot. I do want to point out, so when we were playing Heavy Dirty Soul, I have someone who, uh, who throws me the tambourine from down here. And uh, tonight, on that second throw, that perfect, perfect throw where I caught the tambourine, that was actually my wife, Jenna, who threw me that tambourine.
I really like this show. Thank you. I like this one. Please give it up for my very good friend and yours, Josh Dunn on the drums over there now. Come on. Oh, come on, one more time. Josh Dunn on the drums, give it up! It is kind of a lead singer's worst nightmare to say the wrong place. And I, I want you to know there's, I know where I am. It's just kind of awkward. I know I'm in the UBS arena, the brand new place. You guys like playing shows here, yeah? yeah. I know I'm in Long Island. I know that I'm in New York. Yeah. And I know there's people at this show who've been listening to us for quite some time now, so thank you for that. Tyler gave us three really cute smiles. I told you he would know you! Yeah, and we had Haley in the middle. It's the first show up in 38 that I've never not, or 39, I don't know. <laughs> that I've never not stood by Allie and he still recognized me. Um, we have a Greyhound bus to Canada that, in, that leaves the station in about an hour and we're in Long Island and the bus leaves out of New York City. So we are out of here. Great 50th show, let's go! Just got a pilot's notification and I literally said, who did they just retweet? <laughs> no. It was Allie. No. It was Allie. <laughs> Big day. <No. laughs> oh my God. We are about to get on a Greyhound to Canada. This is so indie. I know how this one ends. It's 11.43. I could do something on my phone, so I cleared it and I was like, who was that?